Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Miss Tink. That's M-I-Z-Z, not M-I-S-S. And yeah, so I just wanted to jump on camera because A, for one, I am new to this YouTube thing. And B, I do have some stuff that I do want to talk about. And one of the things that I just want to talk about that's been on my mind for the past couple of days and I was really inspired by one of my favorite YouTube, <clears throat> one of my favorite YouTubers, should I say, Ashley Miller. Shout out to Ashley Miller. Y'all should check her out. Anyways, um... I was inspired by her Q&A, so I decided to go ahead and just put myself out there and talk about something that I want to talk about. So today, I just decided to talk about Love & Hip Hop Hollywood Season 2, Episode 1. Now, I already know I should have been started with, what, Season 1, but, you know, I didn't. I'm starting now, so bear with me. Anyways, as you all know, the episode does open up with just a recap from last season and all those characters there and the drama that happened there and then it starts off with Monice, April, and Tierra all meeting by the beach and you know just catching up like good girlfriends do you know what I'm saying like me and my girls would do and Tierra basically say states that she's in you know a new headspace in life you know she's over that chapter as far as Ray J and she's doing her thing and she's happy and she's living for her all I gotta say is right on girl right on girl I ain't mad at you, girl. Do what you got to do, okay? Also, then you have <clears throat> Miss Monice. And Monice was cute, but I have to agree with the other fellow YouTubers that I watch. I'm going to actually give them a shout-out at the end of this video. Um, I didn't really just care for that that hair. And by the way, I know y'all wonder, like, what? I have my curls pinned up. I'm going to put up a natural video of this style that I did. I had it started, but it was recorded on another device so I gotta redo it so that's on the way soon and that's gonna be on my Miss Tink T no I lied Natural Pole Sisters TV um, channel so yeah and this is Miss Tink TV channel yeah I got two so you'll see as it progresses why I have two anyways so yeah let's continue because I'm babbling anywho you have Monique basically you know, she's at a new good, you know, her and Lil Fizz, you know, she's Lil Fizz, baby mama, at a good place in life, both taking care of the kids. And now Monice just wants to focus on her love life and focus on her music. So, she, you know, she's dating somebody. It's not like we don't know who this is. Come on now. It's Rich Dollars from Love and Hip Hop, New York. Come on now. I'm like, we're not even going to talk about that because I'm pretty sure plenty of the YouTubers have already said it. Like, he is just not a... Mm -mm, not a prize girl okay whatever you like what you like and then we have april in the first scene basically she's you know she just had a beautiful baby named mega very 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 cute 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 little boy excuse the button he she is omarion's baby mama and now she just wants to get the spice back in her life spice back in her love life with omarion so you know she just wants to turn up turn up so monice goes on to say you know speaking of all of that you know basically brings up the dirt that's been surfaced going around all the blogs since season one of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood about, you know, uh, Ray J, which is, of course, Sierra's ex, Ray J, and his girl, Princess Di well, Princess. Apparently, pr apparently, it was stated that Princess allegedly broke some ribs, ACL of Ray J, and all of that, whatever, this, that, and the third, and, you know, she wound up in jail. So, Monice brings that up to Tierra, and Tierra basically saying, you know, Karma's a B, you know, you was doing all this stuff last season, which he was, and such and such forth, okay? Let's keep on going with it. Then, after all that's being said and done between Tierra, you have April that's going to basically say, I mean, put it out there, she's having a pampering party. So she tells Tierra, yo, I'm having a pampering party, and I done got cool with Princess, and I'm just letting you know as a friend she will be there. So Tierra just takes the, you know, the high road to be the bigger one, basically states that as long as Princess stays in her lane, Tierra's good and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's in the first scene. Next scene we have um we see Hazel Lee and basically walking back into the walking and do that slow walk that Mona's now Mona Scott. Mona Scott. You know everybody don't walk in. Like, I'm telling you, just so script just girl, you so scripted. I I anyways, back off back off. I mean, off that, let's get back to what we was talking about. Sorry about that, y'all. Anyways. And just to let you know, I do be all over the place, but everything I have to say basically goes to 
about the show and how I feel. So, bear with me. I'm just passionate how I talk, so I decided to talk on camera. And also, by the way, too, I ain't one of them people that's a homophobe or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? So, if you feel like, oh, I can't take it, the fact that there's two men on here, you might as well just click off. Don't look at me. Don't watch me because I'm going to talk about it because I don't care. Love is love. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And and I, being a part of that community as well, I'm the L, not the B. You don't know what that means. I don't know what to tell you. Look it up. Research it. It's called Google. Anyways, back to what we was talking about. Hazley walks into the studio and we introduce to a guy named Miles and Milan. Miles has been some whatever track. I like the beat, but the raps, eh, and that's just my opinion. Like I said, I'm going to say, this is just my opinion, how I feel. You can either accept it or disagree we can agree to disagree just be respectful because i'm respectful to those who are respectful to me point blank period shouldn't have to say no more anyways so yeah miles rapping and hazily comes in you know she wants to get back i ain't really just feel hazily's hair in a confessional just like i didn't feel M monisa's hair but the makeup was cute but that hair just had to go i liked hazily's hair while she was walking doing her little sexy slow walk into the studio personally but hey it is what it is so you know she goes in there she hugs milan her apparently her and milan have go way back like they always said really whatever but you know i've checked out milan's um instagram and i must say he's a very handsome dude i mean do what you do i mean hey right on my brother well wrong hand <laughs> right on my brother i ain't mad at you do what you do make your money forget everybody else and you're a very handsome gentleman if i must say Love the fact that you're in the community. Thank you. Thank you. Anyways, so back to what I was saying. That basically, you know, I'm not going to go in too hard. I'm not going to talk about it too hard for Hazel because I know she just came back from Houston. Her grandfather died, and I understand how that pains feel because I lost a grandfather. I'm sure everybody has. So I ain't going to go. I'm not going to talk about you too bad, but girl, yeah, that hair just got to, got to go. But, you know, anyways, look who I'm talking about. I got my hair. Whatever. Natural curls. You'll see the video soon. Anyways. Also, um, they're talking, whatever. Then Miles comes out of the DJ booth and be like, oh, hey, mm, what's up? Mm, okay. I, I thought it was a little bit too friendly, but then again, I could have been looking at it too hard. But it is what it is. So, <clears throat> um, Milan and Hazelie are basically talking about everything. And then Hazelie mentions that Tierra reached out to her after she basically, you know, because of the death of her grandfather. And I hope it was genuine. Because you know what they say. Death does bring people together. So I do hope it was genuine from Tierra. I really feel like it was. But you know. You never know. I mean it's reality TV. So you know. They all talk in this, that, and the third. And basically. You know. Milan wants a serious relationship. Wants to commit. He, You know. He talks about his partner as he goes. Well he says his partner name as Bay. We don't. We're not introduced to his partner. But. Clearly from the trailer, we know who his partner is, but, you know, they Mona has to give us suspense like we haven't already seen the trailer. Okay, whatever, whatever. So, you know, Milan basically wants a committed relationship, wants the, the wife, the kids, the pick, well, not the wife, but not the wife, but the kids, the picket fence, the house, you name it. He wants it all. And, you know, everybody's entitled to having, you know, having the love of their life and, you know, having that love being giving back in return is like they giving it you know what i'm saying everybody deserves that so i ain't mad at him for that so then after that scene we are in uh we see ray j now oh lord and like he goes by your boy ray j i just lost cause to me i'm sorry just a lost cause so ray j basically we introduced to him riding to princess uh to get to princess because of all the drama that happened in new orleans and basically you know, that whole big old fight with him doing the turn up like he always do. Princess finding it and going off. And my thing is, Princess, baby, you know what type of guy he is. If, if you must love him like, girl, his, his, his stroke game must be, girl, must wash away your sins for you to be, are you serious? You're going to jail, okay? And then the reason why you went to jail was you took the rap for Ray J because, what, he's on probation? Are you serious right now? Whatever, girl. Like, I... I guess. I guess. Okay. I'm okay. I I I would never get it. I would never understand. I'm not finna mess up my reputation, my life behind nobody. Even if I was straight, wouldn't be behind no dude. I wouldn't even do it behind a female. So make you think I'm gonna do it behind a dude. Princess, I'm gonna need you to get a little bit more self esteem with yourself. That's all I'm gonna ask. But hey, it is what it is. You signed up for this, you put it out there, girl. I'm going to need you to have a little bit more self-esteem with yourself. You're a little bit too old. 
whatever. It is what it is. Everybody's lifestyle and background is different. I'm just saying, damn, damn. Anyways, so yeah, that whole they talk about that whole debacle. He's going over there to apologize, and I ain't gonna lie, I agree with Justin J. Twelve thirty two. Y'all check him out too. That condo was off the chain. Cute, loved it. Yes. So they're talking. You know, he's apologizing, giving this whack apology or whatever. Then they start crying, boo hooing and stuff. Like, come on now, girl. You could do it so much better. Ray J is nothing. You took the. You went to jail. For, okay, whatever. I'm not even gonna go into that. We'll see. Whatever. Anyways, on to Omarion. We seen Omarion performing, doing his thing or whatever. April, of course, showing her man support or whatever. You know, turn it up for him. And then you know we see. You know. Well, not see, but we hear Omarion talk about how his single supposed to be is topping the charts. And, and, and it's a good song, it is. But yet again, I agree with other fellow YouTubers. Like, if it wasn't for Janae Aiko's part, Eat the Booty Like Groceries, her part, I wouldn't even really care for the song. I'm just being honest because that's the only part I really can't remember is her part. Like, the beat is nice, don't get me wrong, but I live for Janae Aiko. Yes, I do. I live for her part. I can't fake the fun out. But hey, it is what it is. Make your money, you know? Apparently, he has another song that I heard on the radio a couple of days ago. I'm going to look that up and see what that is. I wonder if that's the song that he was singing on the show, but I could be wrong. You know, I, I wasn't really paying attention. I just heard Omarion's name in it. And I recognized his voice, just wasn't paying attention. And I caught the end of the song, too. Anyways, off that. So, April runs into Nikki Baby. You know, Nikki Baby just so happens to turn around. And Nikki, girl, your makeup was cute with that red. I, I like it, but... You just a little bit too much plastic to me. I just just a little bit too much plastic. I just wow, is it really that bad that you gotta put? We could debate on that all day, every day. I mean, I'm I'm a natural. I have on nothing, and I probably look like God knows what. I just got off of work. I got my work face on. It just I know, but come on, I wouldn't want to change anything for the world. And I got scars for days, but I I just wouldn't want to change myself. The Lord put them there for a reason. To show my story. I just... But hey, everybody's different. So whatever. Do what you do. Couldn't be me. Just couldn't be me. Anyways. But hey, quick question. Did anybody see that girl in behind April just like... Get your camera time. I know that's right. Mona ain't finna steal your shine. Mona is not. You got me behind April. I'm finna work as much as I can. I noticed that girl in the back was just twerk, moving it. And then once April and her, April and uh, Nikki finished their conversation because they had a conversation about how, you know, April wants to get it in. Well, her man, you know, wants to, wants to have that spark, you know, but she don't want the baby to hear her. And whatever. I done heard. I didn't. I. I'm just saying. I done heard some stories where that wasn't the excuse at all. But it is what it is. It's called a babysitter. It's called another room. I'm just saying April. It's called a babysitter and it's called put the baby in another room. Whatever. It is what it is. So, you know, she's talking all of that to Nikki. Nikki talking about now she has a lingerie. You know, she's single as a dollar bill. She got a lingerie line out. So she's going to, you know, give some advice. Give some advice to somebody who has a man. Whatever. I mean... We all do it sometimes. Well, she's going to, you know, sell, give um, April some of her products to, you know, turn on Omarion because she decides to show up at Omarion's workplace and, you know, get it and do what we do. And as soon as April called her, I think she either called her a nasty hoe or something like that. The, the girl in the background behind April was like, I was the only one to notice that. I noticed that. I was like, I know that's... Mm -hmm. Get that camera time, girl. Get that camera time. We in Hollywood. Get it. <laughs> Woo. So after that, you know, we see um, <clears throat> Monice going to go pick up her man. She don't want to tell nobody. She wants to pick up her man, and she's happy. And lo and behold, who it is? Whack as rich dollars. I'm sorry. He is whack to me. Baby. I didn't even have to watch the very first season of Love and Hip Hop New York to know. From two on down, you done been through, okay, whatever. Eric Amina, Johnny Blaze, whoever else is in between there. 
And now hopping from New York to Hollywood, I guess it must be hard for you, Rich Dollars in New York. In New York, so you had to go to Hollywood. Mona, okay, Mona must be paying you something, because I, you look old. You just look, that's just my opinion. You just look old. You look like, yeah, you just look like one of, an old uncle that just, just, just never gave up their play of ways. Like, come on now. But the dog was cute, though. I wasn't really feeling that grill that Monice had. I, but, hey, it is what it is. She's still cute. But, Monice, I don't want to hear about your vagina getting all hard and you love his sausage. From what I hear, it ain't even all that. But okay, and I don't even want to see that because that ain't my type of that ain't my type of tree. I swing on if you know what I mean. But either way, let's keep on moving. So, anyways, you know, pick them up. You know, they're gonna have a day, of course. Get it in, get it in like they normally do, and you know, they all happy. Then you see, um, <clears throat> then you then you uh, see if I'm okay. Then you see I'm I'm getting all tongue tied. Yeah. Then you see. Um, you see, right? You see Ray J and 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 uh, call it Diamond Princess. Wrong person. My bad. You see Ray J and Princess meet up or whatever at this shot, and I don't care what nobody say. I feel like Mona, Mona Sky, you pay for that yacht for the day. I'm just saying. I, I, you know, I just feel like that. You know, they meet up, have a little talk or whatever, and she looked cute. She looked cute. I, I mean, honestly, I think Princess is really pretty because she did look really, really cute in her confession. I'm just saying. I, I thought she looked cute. Wasn't really feeling all that that outfit, that lace, but I, I'm. That's not something I wear. But then again, I don't have the body for all that. I'm team tiny all day, every day, and I love it. Whatever. So, um. <clears throat> they meet up, talk or whatever, you know. And she basically puts it out there, like, if you can't change your ways, you should be single. So Ray J talking about, well, let, let, what do I got to do? What do I got to do? Give up the apartment. That's a suggestion. Okay, I'm going to give it up. Whatever. We'll see. Now, all of a sudden, she loves them. Whatever. We'll, yeah, you're really going to give it up. We'll see by the end of the episode. Then it <clears throat> then it ushers on. And my much love voice. Shout out to you, much love. I love you, girl. You make my day. Yes, you do. But then it goes on to, um, next is, what am I missing? Oh, next is we're introduced to Miles and Amber. Yeah, Amber. I'm just going to put it out there, girl. That jawline is a little, a little strong, a little, a little. A little strong, like, ouch, like, ouch, that hurt, sorry. A little strong, girl. That's just a little strong girl, if you are. You know, she's in love with Miles or whatever. They're doing this rap, and she sound okay. I mean, when I kind of liked it at the end, you know. But, you know, she wants to be with Miles or whatever. But Miles, of course, is holding back, girl, if you only knew. And Miles, on the other hand, doesn't really want to be with Amber. He's in love with somebody else, but he hasn't told Amber. That's where you're messing up at, honey. No, ma'am, you should have told her. So, you know, they're having a conversation, and he's named, basically pointing out all the things that he wants in his life, and Amber realizes you would include me in none of them. Well, girl, that should tell you something right there. Okay. So, you know, and basically it's put out there that Amber wants to be with Miles. Miles holding back. Miles won't tell Amber why he has a big secret. So then, like, then after that, <clears throat> then after that, it's the it's the day of the pamper party. It's the day of the pamper party that April told Tierra Marie that she was going to have or whatever. So, of course, April gets ready for the pamper party. The first person that shows up is uh, uh, Princess and her friend Brandy. And then, you know, basically April told Princess Tierra will be here. And Princess basically said, I want to talk to Tierra because, you know, last time I bad, we had a bad run in. And, you know, I just want to clear the air or whatever this, that, and the third. She's like, okay, fine. Well, she'll be here. So then Princess goes to go sit down and get started on her pampering. Did y'all see Hazel in the background just like? I was like, okay, girl. Okay. Okay. Hey, girl. All right. Okay. And then Tierra shows up. So then Tierra shows up, and April lets her know that basically Princess is here. So as April is letting her know that, Princess walks up and says, like, Hi, Tierra. Tierra's like, Hi. And they basically sit down and basically clear the air between each other. First, Princess comes to um, Tierra and was like, You know, I only had beef with you when I heard you want to punch me in the face. And that's when Tierra was like, Well, 
I, you got to realize that your dude put you out there and told you, you touch my stuff. You threw the stuff away in my purse. So, yeah, I would punch you in the face because, yeah, Ray J did do that. Ray J did throw Princess under the bus. And then that's when Prince, that's when Tierra proceeds to say about, you know, the whole fight they had about the broken ribs and the ACL that's in the blogs. And that's when Princess goes on and lets her know that Ray J leaked that story to the press as attention. Oh, I swear he's such an attention whore. Like, he needs attention so much. I, Ray J, I'm going to need you to grow up. Like, I know your mama gave you a hug when y'all was younger, especially how crazy she is about you. Like, you you just you just like the black sheep of the family. You just can't get right. Can't get right. And not even in a Jagged Edge song. That's my song. But you just, you really leaked that. And so then, you know, Princess goes on and tell Tierra. Tierra was like, you know what? I can believe that because Ray J needs attention. It's like at the end of the day, that song One Wish that I heard in high school, I didn't even like it then before before you can download songs on phones. I didn't even want that on a, on a CD to hear in my car. He sounded like a whining cat. And then what? This That, that sex tape? I didn't even want to see that because it was you. Come on. You're from Moesha. Moesha. Brandy song, best friend. You was in there dancing. <sighs> okay, we're not even. We're not even gonna. We're not even gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to grow up. Yeah, there we go. I'm not even gonna say no more. So then, yeah, and then you know they hug it out or whatever, and they talk it because Tierra gave her a real sister talk. Like you deserve better, princess. You deserve so much better than that. And I mean, and and princess just had a moment, and I hope it was sincere. I hope it was true because that that that's really sad. Like I mean. I wonder, did you have a bad childhood, honey? Like, what? Like, did your mama not tell you? It's because you're beautiful. You're beautiful. I mean, April, of course, is my favorite, but you're beautiful. All these ladies are beautiful in their own way. Like, and it's just sad to see their self-esteem. Like, oh, my goodness. And then other girls look up to, like, it's not. It's it's not. Whatever. Anyways, let me proceed. And then all of a sudden, you know, they hug it out. And did you see how Tierra went for a hug and Princess kissed her? She gave it this look like, okay, I ain't asked for a kiss. I just, okay. I was like, I was like, oh my God, Tierra, you was a mess. So after that scene is up, we go on to the next scene, which is we see uh, Milan pulling up to his, um, you know, condo or whatever. And, you know, Mona doing the slow-mo thing like he always do. He, excuse me. Mona doing the slow thing like she always do and having a shower and all that. And lo and behold, who does Milan have in his bed but Miles? There it is. Miles. Milan together kissing. And I thought it was cute. I really thought it was cute. I have no problem with it. I mean, if we could say, if we can watch Eric Kamina and Sin with their fakeness, I don't see what's wrong with a with an actual real gay man that's living in, you know, living in the LGBT, you know, world or whatever on TV. I don't see nothing wrong with it. They're talking about shove it down the throats. I mean, you shove heterosexuality down our throats. And if you feel some type of way, why are your kids watching it anyways? Don't they have a bedtime? But then again, that's the parent. That's some. That's majority, not all, but majority of these parents these days. But kids are gonna find out anyways because it's called technology. So I don't know what you're trying to shield them for. They're gonna find out. Why not find out at home so they won't be blinded when they go out in the world? But everybody's different. That was how my parents was, but everybody's different. We're gonna keep on going. So they kiss and they're having a conversation on the phone. Um, I mean, sorry, in person. Milan basically wants to go out in public, go out on a real date, and I mean, he he, sh he should be entitled that to be to love and be free like every any other heterosexual, any other couple. Period. But of course, Miles, he's still in the closet. I I'm not ready for that. My family don't know, and why not we stay in the house and all that? Like my my dude. Like, seriously, my dude, if you knew that you wasn't ready, then why are you sitting up here getting involved with somebody who's already out? And then, Milan, too, you're in L.A. I know there's plenty. You have to deal with somebody who's closeted, but then again, the hearts want what the heart wants, so you can't knock it, but come on. Like, Miles, you're going to have to realize that Milan is living in his truth, and you need to come out to your truth, or you need to move around. Why are you worried about everybody else, especially if you claim you don't want to be with nobody else? For the rest of your life but him. Like, he deserves that. He's living in his truth. Why you can't live in his truth with him? And if you know you can't, you need to move around. Because that's wasting time. But the heart wants what the heart wants. So, yeah, basically, Milan gives him an ultimatum. Like, man, if you can't basically 
Tell her what it is. We can't go out in public and just like normal people do, regardless of what anybody else says. I mean, he he he's out. He he deal with all the BS and still has a thick skin. I'm gonna need you to have a thick skin too, basically. If y'all want to do this and you claim that you love him, and if you can't do that, then you need to move around. That's basically a done daughter. And I feel where he was coming from. And oh, I also forgot that. Yeah, April did surprise uh, Omarion at her job, looking all dainty and sexual and it's basically they want to get back to them and get back to us a relationship takes two which it does but april you was looking amazing but i kind of wish you left them shoes on because girl you look beautiful mm. yes you look beautiful and that ring that's cute i don't think it would look cute on me because i got this but you know mm. <laughs> But that is cute on you, yes. And, you know, surprise him at the job. And basically, she rode that baloney pony. I ain't mad at you, girl. Go and get your man, girl. But I wouldn't have done it on TV. I'm just a little private like that. But, hey, it is what it is. Okay. And the last scene of the night, if I forget anything, please correct me. And there will be more. So, the last thing of the night is that we see that Ray J is basically having a send-off send-off party you know as you want to call it you know a send-off party since he's supposed to be giving up his apartment for princess to work on his relationship with princess princess but of course like the ray j strippers you know that's what he calls the send-off party one last turn up princess winds up getting a text which i feel like that was mona mona scott texting her getting a text from her girl talk about the party princess rides out up there because she's like you know she got a good feeling rides out and sees Walks in, walk, rides out to, um, yeah, Ray J's apartment and then sees, you know, as what she's going to see, which is the strippers. And then all of a sudden, you know, it's like, yeah, yeah. And she walks in like, mm-hmm, nice, nice. Oh, that's, mm, well, it's nice, so, mm. It's nice, so, yeah, that's, that's nice, so, mm, mm-hmm. And then just starts throwing stuff at Ray J, like, and here, here go Ray J. Baby, 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 baby. Oh, come, like, dude. Like, come on now. Stop stop faking the funk. You know what you did. Like, come on. So Princess just going off talking about the strippers and all of this, calling them bitches, hoes, prostitutes, bums, all that. Now that, Princess, that was, to me, that was wrong because they're, they're not doing nothing but getting their money. Your man invited them over there. Nobody else. You need to be mad at Ray J, not them, because they're getting their paper. I'm sorry. Now, that was wrong of you to say that to them. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, basically, Princess going off throwing stuff at Ray J, and then you know Ray J like, oh this you want Ray J? This the real Ray J? This the turn? Was not convinced at all. You still look like a little boy. I'm gonna need. It didn't even sound like your nuts fell. I'm just saying it. It just it sound like pennies fell. <laughs> Come on now, just yeah. I'm gonna need you to stop. So basically, you know. She goes in and talks about how Ray J's socks are dirty. And as soon as she turns to leave, that's when the strip, one of the stripper girls going to talk about, going to talk about, your feet are crusty, bitch. Your feet are crusty, bitch. <laughs> Princess turns around and darts straight off to that girl, just trying to fight the girl. And you got one girl just going all going after Princess, trying to fight. The girl kicked the hole in the apartment. And Ray J like, man, chill out, chill out. The girl kicked the hole in the apartment. Oh, my goodness. Like, Ray J, are you paying for that or is Mona paying for that? Like, that was a really deep hole. Like, come on now, girl. So then, you know, the episode basically ends with Princess telling him that it's over. It's done. Dada, I'm done. Okay? And then that's how the episode goes off. And then we get previews of what's going on in the season. Uh, uh, Ray J and Princess uh, drama. Miles, Amber, and Milan drama. Hazel Lee and her inner, you know... Tiara and Princess Friends and they not friends. Moniz and her breakdown. We see Fizz and we introduced to a couple of new characters. Amber was a new character as well. And then, you know, we just, it looked like it's going to be a good, a good season. So I'm excited and I'm excited to review it. I mean, I should have been started, but hey, it is what it is. So yeah, you know, that's my review for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood season two, episode one. And I am a new YouTuber which is Miss Tink. That's M-I-Z-Z, not M-I-S-S. That's me. And before I get off here, let me just give a couple shout-outs. Okay, um, 
I want to shout out to all my favorite YouTubers, which is The Scorpion Show, Ashley Miller, Bondi Blue, Forrest Rocks, Justin, Justin J1232, Jamar Washington, Squeaky Jones, uh, The Ghetto Review, um, who else? Um, Messy Miles, uh, uh, Miss, I, do, I do like Miss PTV, um, who else? It's a couple more that I can't name. They're gonna they're they're gonna come to me afterwards. I probably might put them up below. But yeah, I'm new. All those people that I've named have inspired me to just get on out here and just talk. All of my friends say you talk too much and you're passionate about what you talk about. So I decided to talk about it in front of a camera and I wanted to pick up a new hobby. So this is me. This is just me. This is Miss Tink. I ain't trying to be like nobody else but myself. I'm animated. I'm goofy. You either you like me or you don't. I can't help it. I mean, we can agree to disagree. At the end of the day, I'm all about respect, and I give you respect. I'm a natural. As you can see, this hair is pinned up. And, yeah, so hopefully, well, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Hopefully you like, comment, subscribe. There will be more. Like I said, I am new. So, you know, and I just hope you welcome me into your world. Like, YouTube has helped me welcome all these other YouTubers into my world. So, you know. Hey, it's me, Miss Tink, M-I-Z-Z, -Z, not M-I-S-S. -S. So I hope to hear from you guys soon, and I hope you have, you guys have a blessed, blessed week. And we'll be back again for more Love & Hip Hop Hollywood Season 2 soon. And we'll also have other videos that's more about me as you get to know me. All right, you stay blessed. Yeah, and before I forget, I also want to um, send a special uh, send another shout out to one of um, other YouTubers that inspired me, Miss um, Lovely T two thousand. No, yeah, Miss Lovely T two thousand and two. You also inspired me, girl. And is there anybody else that I wanted to? Rem oh, Mr. S uh, James Caldwell, Shay Sean, Say Sean Bradley. And um, also, uh, of course, A Connection TV. I'm sorry, I forgot you. You also as well have inspired me too. And let me see if there's um, Miss Samora Love also inspired me as well. And it's another gentleman. Uh, let me, sorry, baby, I'm going to get your name. Give me one second. I'm trying to make sure I get everybody in my phone that's really inspired me. Okay. his name oh man oh uh Janae Nabessa also and oh man I'm, I'm, I'm gonna find your name Jesus well if I find the name I'm gonna put it up also Adrian Expressions too but it was another gentleman I wanted to shout out but I'm and Alexander Rogers as well. You're hilarious as well. Everybody that I name and including there are some people that I miss. I will put you, I will give you a shout out in other videos. But they basically are the ones that have inspired me. And so just wanted to make add that last little tidbit. So yeah, again, stay blessed. If um, Follow me on Instagram at Miss Tink. That's M-I-Z-Z, -Z, not M-I-S-S, 88. My Twitter is at Naturally Faded, and my Facebook is Miss Tink Rawls. That's M I Z Z, not M I S S. <laughs> yes, that is my little thing. That's what I like to do. So please uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, and I will talk to you guys soon. Mwah! Kisses again. Bye.